going on boys and girls doing lollipop chicken today come on back hey there Kyle here how y'all doing today thank you all so much for coming back so today like I said we're gonna be doing lollipop chicken so this isn't chicken that we're just gonna coat and crush lollipops it is just basically we're gonna take a chicken drumstick make a cut so it basically looks like it's gonna look like a lollipop when it's done cooking so this doesn't really do anything for how it cooks or um, you know it doesn't affect flavor or cooking time anything like that this really is just more of a novelty thing um, so as you know it's fun for like your next cookout and you just want to do something different and instead of just doing the same old drumsticks you know you can just make them look like lollipops so let's go ahead and get started all right so you're going to need some chicken drumsticks all right so you're going to lay these down on some paper towel and grab some more paper towel and just bought these dry to get the excess moisture and water off of them all right so here's how we're going to set these up so you want to take your drumstick and right where the meat meets the bone, so right about there, this is where we're going to make our cut to make these lollipop chicken. So you want to cut straight down to the bone and spin it as you go. That way you're staying on a nice even line. And you want to make sure you cut all the way through to the bone. When you're done, just stand it up and push down on the bottom part of the drumstick. Now, here's where you need a sharp knife, which I don't have, because you need to make sure that you're cutting through that tendon that runs through there. Once you've done that, we're gonna clean the top part off there. Now, the easiest way I found to do this is to get your thumb up under there, and then just follow that groove along the bone there. Okay, you'll just flip it over to the other side, spin it, and then you'll just pull the rest of it off right there, just like that. Okay, so now, what we're going to do now is on the bottom part of the drumstick we're going to flatten it so you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut through the cartilage bone there so we have a nice flat area so this thing can stand up on the smoker okay now i didn't hit these with anything um you can use some oil or some sprayable duck fat or something like that i i didn't i just want using up the rest of that rub that i made uh last week that sweet heat rub all right, we are good to go. All right, so I'm finally getting rid of this crappy charcoal. So let's light this candle. We're going to throw some tumbleweed in there. And then we'll lower our basket down into the UDS. And if you haven't seen my video on how I built this, I'll go ahead and put a link above. All right, so I'm going to put my bottom grate in. So while we're out there, we're going to enjoy a pour of Wild Turkey 101 as well as enjoy a Perdomo Habano Sun Grown. Now, I've been on a Perdomo kick lately and I really enjoyed that Maduro last week. So I'm very excited to try this one as well. All right, smoker's up to temp, so about 275, 300. And we're gonna go ahead and put our drumsticks on. All right, today I'm using some oak, um, mainly because that's all I have. So that's why I'm using it. All right. Been about an hour. We're temping at about 150, 151. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my sauce and my sauce pot on there to get it warmed up. All right, it's been about a half hour later. Uh, we're sitting at about 165, 170. So these are done. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and dunk these in the sauce, or at least this was my plan. But apparently I didn't have enough sauce in there to do this, so it only went halfway up. So I'm just gonna have to take the brush and just go around and paint the rest of them. But this just gives us a nice even coat of sauce uh, on the chicken. We're gonna go ahead and close the lid and leave them sit for about 10 minutes so that sauce gets nice and tacked up. And we'll go ahead and pull these off the smoker. And now it's time for the money shot. Alright guys, so there we have it. Lollipop chicken. Wasn't hard, right? 
I mean, all we did was just take the drumsticks out of the chicken. We literally made one cut just around the bone, cleaned all that excess garbage off the end, flattened our end so it would stand up, threw some rub on it, put it on the smoker, sauced it, and we're done. And I think they turned out pretty cool. I mean, you definitely want to give this a try at your next barbecue. So now you know it's my favorite time. Time to taste how we did. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very glad I trimmed my beard this morning. Wow, is that good? Wow, yeah, that was a good bite. I mean, straight through the straight through the meat. Meat stays on. Meat's nice, and moist, tender. Perfect amount of smoke. Um, it's not overbearing. The kick from the rub that I made up last week, definitely coming through on the back end. And the sauce, of course, making everything nice and tangy, nice and tacky, very delicious. Guys, you definitely wanna give these a try at your next barbecue. If you like this video, guys, please go ahead and hit that like button, it helps me out a lot. And go ahead and consider subscribing. I mean, why not? You just think it over, you don't have to do it today. All right, guys, everybody stay safe out there. And remember, support your local nurse. Mm -hmm.